So 49 year old female complains of severe substernal chest pain for past hour, diaphoretic and pale. Okay, so based off the just that, I think she is having a MI or a heart attack. Uh, let's see. All right, let's start her on some oxygen real quick. All right, and then let's investigate. Let's do an ECG. Let's get some glucose. And also, let's get a chest x-ray. That's just what you typically do when somebody comes in with chest pain. Um, the ECG and then the chest x-ray. So she has a STEMI, a large ST elevations, which is can be seen right here, I'm pretty sure. These, this is the ST elevation. And then the chest x-ray shows bilateral pulmonary edema, which means she probably has heart failure. Um... Because she has fluid in her lungs. That's basically what that means. Uh, and then let's... Her blood pressure is low. So let's give her some norepinephrine. Bring that up. Okay. And then... Let's ask her some questions. Hi. What brings you in? Uh, bad chest pain. You know what? Let me just give her some, like, fentanyl bolus. Oh, and aspirin. Because she is having a heart attack. Let's give her some aspirin. And then... Heparin. And then let's actually loop in cardiology right now. Cardiology is concerned about ECG changes, but is unable to take the patient. Okay, so we have to treat her here for everything. Okay, so they can't take her to the cath lab right now. Um, she is low on blood pressure, but she does have pulmonary edema. Let's just give her... 500 milliliters of fluid instead of like fluid overload um lab test okay let's just go through the basics basic chem 7 let's do coag let's type in screen I don't, I'm not sure if you have to type in screen for a cath lab if you have to go in for a cath lab later uh cbc let's do a pro bmp to check if she is really in heart failure uh, troponin and I don't know why I just like doing COVID test just to make sure okay so what is her finger stick blood sugar it's not bad right now glucose is is 12.3 I'm wondering if you do give insulin for this I'm actually not sure I'm gonna just I'm gonna just not do it Bicarbonate. Okay, so she's going through. She is in heart failure. Uh, troponin is slightly elevated, which you'd expect since when she is having a heart attack. And her blood pressure is still low. Why is that? Did I give her the norepi? I did. Okay, maybe let's try to do a thrombo. Thrombolysis. Um, and then, okay, I think that means she's feeling better. Okay, um, it started during a meeting, now I feel dizzy. How do you feel now? Oh, no. Thanks to the medication. Okay, sounds good. And then, um, you know, do you have any history? of heart attacks but it went away on its own so she did have an episode like this which maybe was angina before which is like the like chest pain due to restricted blood flow of the heart so maybe she had that earlier 
and now it became a full-on heart attack. Um, so, I don't know if she has family history. Does she smoke? Let's check if she has the risk factors. Yep, history of high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. Uh, those are risk factors. Let's see what she's taking for them. Metformin, hydrochlorothiazide, lisinopril, ibuprofen, ASA. Okay, now what do we do here? From now on, um, are you having any other symptoms? Okay, I'm feeling a bit lightheaded and nauseous. Let's see if we can give some nausea medicine. On Denzitron, okay. Comp. Okay, no, I'm not sure why you can't give her anything. But let's examine her. Air breathing, airway, circulation. Let's check her cardiovascular, her pulmonary, abdominal, musculoskeletal, back. Um, skin. I'm not sure if you have to do all this, but I'm guessing it's better safe than sorry. Rouse to, okay, bilaterally. Abdominal, cardio, tachycardic, regular rhythm. Okay. I wonder if you can do another ECG. Okay, let's see. Alright, so she still has ST elevations. I'm not sure why there's not an interpretation, but there we go there. And I think that's all we can do from here. Gave her fluids, oxygen. Differential would be a myocardial infarction, which is just a heart attack. Respiratory rate. I think this is pretty straightforward in my head of what you would do if somebody came in with the MI. Um, let's see what medication I gave her. Aspirin, TNK for thrombolysis. Heparin. I think that's it. Okay. But anyways, let's admit her to the ICU and then myocardial infarction. Okay, 97.4%. I am missing something. A second IV. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing if the patient comes in and it's unstable or in shock, you do just put him in, just put a second IV in. But other than that, um, you know, a 97.4%, I'll take that. I will take that. Let's see, physical exam. And, oh, yeah, here's a detailed dis discussion if anybody wants to pause it and read it on their own. But yeah, that's been the second episode. Uh, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying everything. Um, and if you do have any recommendations or any comments, please comment down below. And yeah, this has been Savan Patel, an incoming first year medical student. I hope I'm explaining things as I go. And I'll see you all next time.